Number 10. Hair Straightening Gone Wrong In Brazil, a 14-year-old girl was killed while using a hair straightener. Her name was Tamiris de Conceição Silva, and she died instantly the moment her wet hair touched an exposed wire on the hair straightener. She was at her home in the northeast of the country, in the town in Setio Tubaro, where this unthinkable tragedy took place. Even though her family called emergency services right away, there was nothing they could do. The hair straightener had a wire sticking out, which delivered an unbelievable electric shock when it touched her wet hair. Who would have ever thought that just trying to straighten your hair could have deadly consequences? But believe it or not, this was not the only electrical fatality in Brazil in recent days. Just a month before this poor teenager was killed, yet another teenage girl died in Brazil from being electrocuted. This girl was named Roger Ferreira de Oliveira, and she was charging her cell phone when her house was struck by lightning. The lightning somehow went through her house, up the electric cable of her phone, and straight into her brain. Just like the other poor girl, she died immediately. The family performed first aid and drove her to the hospital, but by the time she was handed over to the paramedics, she had already been dead for quite some time. Number 9. Exploded on a Train Oleg Horoshev is the boy who exploded while trying to show off to his girlfriend. He literally blew himself up after he climbed onto the top of a train and got an electric shock from one of the cables. The cable sent 27,500 volts straight into the kid's body, causing him to burst like an overfilled balloon. The young boy was spotted walking beside the railway in the small town in Karasuk, Russia, just moments before the terrifying incident occurred. Apparently, he climbed onto the top of the train because he wanted to take pictures to impress his girlfriend, but absolutely nobody was impressed by what happened. Someone even caught the aftermath on video, with the exploded boy lying beside the carriage of the train, withering and crying and in shock. A female witness told police that Oleg was with a small group of boys and girls, and that another boy was planning to follow Oleg onto the train, but before he could, there was a loud boom. Everyone looked up to see a black mark on Oleg's chest just seconds before his whole body was on fire. To make matters even worse for the child, he spent three days suffering in the hospital as doctors tried to save his life, but there was nothing they can do. He had burns across most of his body. The electricity had fried him from the inside. Number eight, charging the phone in the bath. A 24-year-old shop worker died after receiving a massive electric shock while charging her iPhone. Yet again, this terrifying incident happened in Russia, in the city of Arhangelsk, the girl was Olesya Semenova, and she was discovered by her roommate floating dead in the bathtub. According to what the friend told the emergency operator when she called the police, Olesya was pale, she wasn't breathing, and she showed no sign of life. Plus, when she reached out to touch her friend, she received an electric shock. She also noted that there was a smartphone in the water connected to a cable. Paramedics later confirmed what the friend had assumed. The poor girl had been taking a bath and charging her iPhone beside the tub when the phone accidentally fell into the water and killed her. Even though a cell phone might not seem that deadly, it's still hooked to electricity when it's charging. It's the same as tossing a toaster into the bath. After the devastating incident, the Russian Emergencies Ministry issued a public warning to all citizens to keep electrical appliances away from the water. Hopefully, people will listen. Number 7. Leopard on the Power Lines in one of the strangest cases of electricity gone wrong, a leopard was electrocuted in India and discovered hanging from an electric pole. The wildcat had somehow managed to get all the way to the top of the electric pole and then get tangled up in the lines. People couldn't believe it when they saw the dead body of a cat hanging limp from the wires. The incident happened near the Malaram Forest, a very remote part of the country in which leopards sometimes stray into human habitations. But seeing as wild animals don't quite understand how to navigate human constructs, the leopard probably thought the electric pole was a tree when it tried to climb to the top and ended up getting zapped and killed. According to the local wildlife officials who investigated the case, the leopard had probably come into town in search of food. Since these are ambush predators, the leopard was trying to find a high vantage point where it could spot incoming prey and leap. This is what ultimately led to the deadly electrocution. Officials had to come down and disconnect the power supply just to remove the carcass, which was then handed over to a vet for an autopsy before the body was burned. Number 6. Trying to save a pigeon In another weird electricity incident, also in India and also involving some power lines, a man was killed trying to save the life of a pigeon. The 35-year-old man was terrified when he saw a pigeon tangled up in some power lines in the small village of Malpur, near the local market. Purely out of the kindness of his heart, he then climbed up the electric pole to try and free it. Others watching this incredible rescue attempt couldn't believe the man's bravery. After all, he was the only one willing to do anything about the pigeon as it squirmed in pain above their heads. 
But unfortunately for him, freeing the bird didn't go quite as planned. The hero's name was Dilipai Vigella, a father to three children. He tied a wooden stick to an iron rod and hauled himself up the electric pole. When he tried to detangle the bird from the wires using the stick, he accidentally poked one of them. Keep in mind, folks, that wood can still conduct electricity. The live wire sent voltage through the wood stick, down the metal rod, and directly into the man. He fell from the electric pole, hit the ground, and landed on his skull. He was dead before the ambulance even arrived. He left behind his family and his life, and all for the sake of a suffering pigeon. We don't know if it was the electricity that killed him or the fall that broke his skull, but either way, the pigeon also died. This was not a great day for anybody. Would you ever risk your life to save a pigeon or some other animal? Let us know how you feel in the comments, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 5. Painting Fail A man painting a tower in the Mahoning Township of Pennsylvania ended his shift with a bang. At 27 years old, this guy died trying to paint the power line tower, and if that seems like a pretty silly thing to paint, you're not the only one who thinks that. According to the coroner from Lawrence County, the individual was from Mexico, but his name had not been revealed for privacy reasons. The incident went down at about 11 o'clock in the morning, with the man's daily duty being to repaint the tower. He was contracted by Penn Power to revamp the old structure, and everything was going fine until he climbed to the top and accidentally came in contact with the live electric wires. And to make matters even grislier, he didn't just get electrocuted, he also got tangled up in the wires. By the time help arrived, he was hanging unconscious from his harness, dangled up in live electric wires, 75 feet above the ground. It took the rescuers quite some time to remove the corpse because of how dangerous it was. Paramedics were standing by, but it was a pretty futile gesture. By the time his body was handed over to them, he was already dead. And while you may be wondering why this guy was working by himself in such a dangerous area, he wasn't. A coworker was there when it happened. He claimed sparks were literally flying off his body and it was too dangerous for him to help. Number four, giraffes and power lines. In Kenya, a trio of giraffes sadly walked into the same low hanging power lines and got electrocuted. The terrible event happened back in February in the Soisambu Conservancy. After the incident, Photos of the three dead giraffes were posted online, sparking outrage from both Kenyan citizens and conservationists worldwide. They demanded that the power company responsible for the electrical infrastructure be held accountable. If they had known giraffes lived in the region, which obviously they must have, it was totally negligent for them to have power lines so low that the unknowing tall animals could walk straight into them. It's no secret how big giraffes are, and if there are power lines around, they should clearly be tall enough to avoid any incident like this. And to make matters even worse, these weren't any ordinary giraffes. They were Rothschild's giraffes, a rare subspecies that primarily live in protected areas throughout Kenya and Uganda. This particular conservancy area is home to 124 of them, with only about 600 of them left in the country. That's half the population worldwide. If they keep on walking in the power lines, they probably won't be around much longer. This is a species that had been endangered until 2010 because of things like illegal hunting, habitat destruction, and human interference. Instead of preserving them, Kenya seems to be killing them. According to Jackson K. Kenyan Jui, an environmental researcher with the nonprofit organization Climate Change Kenya, at least 11 of these giraffes have been killed since 2019, almost all because of similar incidents, just like this one. Number 3. Reaching for Kittens Tragedy struck Texas just recently when a 10-year-old girl was electrocuted to death trying to reach for some kittens. The poor girl had reached behind a dryer in search of the newly born kittens when the accident occurred. The new Boston police chief, Gary McRae, told local news that officers have yet to identify what exactly caused the electrocution, though it's safe to say she must have touched an exposed wire. The kittens were like her babies, and they had gotten stuck behind the dryer. She simply wanted to reach back there and grab them, but this totally ordinary act ended up costing the young girl her life. As you can undoubtedly imagine, the family is torn to pieces. Shelby Roos, the girl's mother, said she loved the kittens and would have done anything for them, and also that her daughter had more compassion for living animals at the young age of 10 than most people have at any point in their entire life. This tragedy really shows not just how dangerous electricity can be, but how something completely ordinary can take life away in a split second. Number two, mommy gets zapped. A four-year-old boy was terribly traumatized when he discovered his mother dead in the bath after she was electrocuted by her smartphone. This young child rushed into the bathroom after he heard a loud bang, only to find his mom, 25-year-old Anastasia Sherbanina, dead in the water. But this was no ordinary boy. 
The youngster was smart enough to quickly unplug the cable and try to resuscitate his mother. That's pretty bright for four years old, and most young kids would probably just have reached into the bath and also gotten electrocuted. He didn't know what to do. His mom showed no signs of life, and so he ran to the phone and called his great-grandmother. The great-grandmother then took a taxi to their home, where by now, the mom had been dead for almost an hour. Unfortunately, there was nothing anyone can do. Anastasia was dead, and the small town of Toguchin, Russia, was in shock. Since the incident, the young boy has gone to live with his great-grandmother, and to be completely honest, hopefully when he grows up, he has no memory of the horrifying incident. Just the year before, Anastasia's own mother died of cancer. The poor kid's whole life has been saturated in death, so hopefully he grows up to be a relatively normal person. And number one, snakes in the electric box. Something very strange was discovered by workers with the Electric Services Department in North Carolina. These workers were sent to a house to disconnect its power, but when they opened the electrical box, they discovered dead snakes. One of the serpents had slithered across two hot terminals and was immediately shocked to death. But what makes the discovery so shocking, no pun intended, is that a second snake had discovered the first one's dead body and tried to eat it. When the second snake chomped into the first one, it was also electrocuted to death. Nobody ever found the snakes before because the home was abandoned and scheduled to be demolished. And so they had just kind of remained inside the electrical box like a pair of snake mummies. According to the director of the electric services, Brooks Kirby, this is actually something that the workers come across every now and again. The only difference is that normally it's just one fried snake, not a duo. Electricity is nothing to mess with. What's your craziest experience with electric current? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check back for more amazing videos. See you next time.